Research shows that careers that require brilliant minds attract a much lower number of females. Why? It is a complicated question. Stereotypes, unintentional bias, lack of encouragement to name a few. Girls are brilliant. In fact, here are some brilliant role models. Born in 1865 in Chingford, Essex, Louisa Aldrich Blake's goal in life was to become a surgeon so she could do something useful. And useful is exactly what she was. There's not much more useful than saving countless lives. At 22, she enrolled in the London School of Medicine for Women and went on to graduate with honors and a gold medal for surgery. In 1895, she became the first woman ever to attain a Master of Surgery. Later that year, she became Britain's first female surgeon at the Royal Free Hospital, as well as the first female anesthetist and lecturer on anesthetics. In 1914, she was appointed Dean of the London School of Medicine for Women, and through her advocacy and stressing of gender equality for women in medicine, the university doubled in population, with many of the incoming students being women inspired by Louisa. During the First World War, she led a group of women and established a military hospital near Paris, where she continued to be a visiting surgeon on her holidays. Many questioned whether women should be allowed to be military surgeons, and in response to that, Aldrich Blake wrote to every woman on the medical registrar to encourage them to volunteer in the army. Her recruits went on to work in hospitals in Malta, Egypt, and Greece. Apart from being a pioneer for women, Louisa is known as a pioneer for her work in cervical and rectal cancer operations, and published an article in the British Medical Journal reporting her new procedures. In 1925, she was made a Dame of the British Empire, and a statue of her was placed at the headquarters of the British Medical Association. Later that year, she died of cancer, having worked as a surgeon nearly until the end of her life.